Hi, we're checking out the three solution concentration calculations you have to be able to do for the chemistry regents exam. We're going to count them down from the one that shows up the least to the one that shows up the most. And of course here I'm looking at reference table T and you might be asking why? Real simple. The mathematical equations are here on reference table T, so please don't forget to have this open when you're doing these types of questions. So let's count them down. Okay, so we're starting with number three. This one showed up once in the last four Regents exams, and that is how to do a parts per million calculation. Now there's a little trick here. Because, of course, what are they giving you? They're giving you scientific notation. But let's actually get to the answer first, and then we can switch it into scientific notation. Parts per million. Here it is. It's going to be the mass of the solute divided by the mass of solution. That's the whole thing. So it's still part over whole, but now we're going to multiply by a million. So let's go back. So parts per million. PPM is short, short for parts per million. Okay, it's going to be the mass of the solute over the mass of solution times one million. So remember, solution that's your solute plus solvent. So the mass of the solute is the glucose that's 0.125 grams the mass of solution is going to be 250 plus the 0.125 grams times 1 million so get out your calculator I'm gonna do the same here you might even hear the little clicks so I got 0.125 divided by 250.125. I'm going to multiply that by a million. And we get essentially 499.75. So we're going to round that to 500. So it's 500 parts per million. All right. So I go to match, but of course we have to go and do scientific notation. What I want to do is have the number in front be between 1 and 5, so I'm going to slide the decimal 1, 2 spaces to the left, so it's 5 times 10 to the 2 parts per million, and here the answer was 2. So the hard part for you might not even have been to calculate the 500, but then to be able to switch it to scientific notation. Now remember, you have a number of 500, and you're going to reduce that to 5. That means you have a positive exponent for scientific notation. All right, let's go to the second most asked question when it comes to solution concentration, and that is percent by mass. So percent by mass, well, let's go back, first of all, to reference table T. Here is our percent composition calculation. So our part though is going to be our solute and our whole is going to be solution. So basically it's just like parts per million but instead of multiplying by a million we're just multiplying by a hundred. It's really parts per hundred. So our solute we have 25 grams of potassium nitrate and 200 grams of water. So our percent here, our part is 25 but our um, solution is 200 plus 25, which is 225, and that is times 100. Now, you're not actually doing the calculation here. You're just doing the setup, and the one, of course, that matches the setup that I just wrote is going to be choice 3. So the key is to remember down here it is solute plus solvent. All right, that's the whole thing. All right, now, here we go. This is molarity. This is the number one solution concentration calculation that is asked. 
Let's go back for a minute to reference table T. And sure enough, here is my molarity formula. Now, the word moles shows up twice on reference table T. And students sometimes confuse the mole calculation up here and they try to use it down here instead. So let's go take a look at the question. This showed up three times from the last four regents exams. So we're looking to find molarity and we're given liters and moles. Molarity is equal to moles of solute over liters of solution. So it is 0.2 moles over 0.5 liters. Now you see they gave you the gram formula mass, but you don't need the gram formula mass to do the calculation. So they're trying to throw you off. Be smart about it, and you're not looking for mass, you're looking for a molarity. So it's just going to be 0.2 divided by 0.5, and the answer is 0.4 molar. So molarity shows up the most if you're not comfortable with calculations please practice them but know that more than likely if there's going to be a solution concentration question molarity shows up keep working hard good luck